Hey guys, Bill Competition Cars. Another really cool car here for sale and bring a trailer. For those of you seeing this video on YouTube, um, it's, this video will hit YouTube first and you'll notice I'm not giving a price or it's not on my website. It's because I bought this car specifically to put on bring a trailer, which is a seven day auction. So when the auction goes live, I'll share the link and you'll have an opportunity to bid on it. Uh, back to the car. This is a 1983 280ZX Turbo 2 Plus 2, five speed with 86,000 original miles on it. This is a car I have been trying to find for 25 plus years. Um, I've had lots of Z cars, but never a two plus two turbo in a five speed. The guy that I got it from bought it from the, what he, what he thought was the original owner. The guy was in the military, the original owner was in the military, had it for years, did a $23,500 restoration in 2009, including the paint job that was $10,500. I've got all the receipts and everything to back that up. Um, guy wound up getting sick, couldn't drive anymore and sold it to the guy that I bought it from and then I bought it from, from the second owner, what I believe to be the second owner. The paint is beautiful on the car. It wasn't some uh, cheap paint job. I mean, 10,500 bucks. Go ahead and pan around the car, Christian. It looks like everything was taken apart. I don't see any tape marks, overspray, or anything of that nature. The jams look perfect. And then we do a five-stage paint correction. So we do clay bar, compound polish, ceramic coat, and then use another state-of-the-art product we just discovered called graphene. So the paint is impeccable. There might have been one or two, I mean tiny chips that I touched up that you'll never see unless I point them out. I put a brand new set of uh, BF Goodrich Regal TAs on it. Had brand new Michelins on it when I got it, but I just didn't like them, they were black walls. So I put the radial TA, which I think is appropriate for this car. It's got the period correct louvers. And we'll go over the paintwork. I'll have a lot of pictures, but like I said, this guy just went crazy. Bought a lot of brand new NOS parts for the car when he did his restoration. Um, and like I said, well, I have, I have every piece of paperwork that goes with this car. There's no door dings, no dents, no scratches, no, no nothing. The stripes are beautiful. Everything looks like it should. So as far as flaws, I mean, there's really no exterior flaws to, to speak of. Um, hang on, there is one spot here I noticed. Right here, the paint kind of chipped right here. It's got, it's got a finger size paint, uh, finger size chip right here. It's minimal. Anything else that uh, that was done to the car that I touched up, there's one tiny, tiny, tiny chip right here. And it's barely noticeable right there that I did, just touched up. Very, very, very minimal. I don't think I touched up anything else on this entire car. Look inside the car, it's absolutely immaculate. I mean, dash, door panels, carpets. Behind the, in the hatch, I'll show, I'll point out to you, I got a good picture of it. There is a piece of vinyl on the inner rear part of the hatch that's kind of rippled up a little bit. They, they, they were kind of, they did that. I've got the seats folded down right now, but I've got tons of pictures where you can see the seats up. It's got the T-tops with the covers in them. Now the radio, it's got the original radio. I did a separate video on this and I want you guys to watch the video. There's an issue, I believe mainly in the power button. When you hit the, sometimes you can hit the power button, it comes right on. Sometimes you have to fit, hit it 10 or 15 times before it comes on. And once it comes on, sometimes the screen will light up and sometimes it won't. So the radio has a mind of its own. When it is working, it works perfectly. The separate bass and treble works, all the buttons work. Cassette player does not work. You put the cassette in and it just, you, you can hear it trying to work, but it doesn't. Now, that being said, there's an additional radio that was with the car. I don't know what's good if that's for parts or anything. You'd have to research it yourself. I did call a place uh, or two that refurbished these radios. Two, 300 bucks will refurbish it. However, they were two or three months out. I just didn't have that kind of time. So like I said, the radio has a mind of its own. It works when it wants to work. And when it does work, it works perfectly. Let's go around here. We'll look at the engine bay. Look in the rear deck, behind the deck hood. Also in the radio <coughs> video, I have, uh, I, I talked about the power antenna. You can hear the motor, it goes all the way up, all the way down, but the, the mast itself does not work. So there's probably a plastic gear or something that's that's not right in there. This is all original, nothing's been modified. Um, I don't see anything of any concern. Uh, everything looks like it should. All the hoses are, are very soft and supple looking. The original airbox hasn't been tampered with. And you know, I will have a driving video as well. Christian, go ahead and get a, cop, uh, get a shot of the, uh, that tag. Little tag with the bin and stuff on it. There, now, this car was painted in 2009. I don't see any rust 
anywhere on this car, nowhere, there is one, and I don't, I don't know if this when it was when they prepped it. There's one tiny blister that your pinky fingernail will cover up, super minimal. I thought about fixing that, but I said, you know what? I'm going to leave it because I want you guys to see that in 20 some odd years, so 2009, uh, 2009 19, 21, it's about uh, 13, 14 years. This is the only spot, and that could have been where it wasn't prepped right. But there's no bubbles anywhere, no rust anywhere. I figured I'd just leave that. It's, it's super minimal. I didn't want to start painting, you know, up on the top of the car and getting overspray everywhere. And so I just thought that'd leave it. Oh yeah, the light that still works, which is pretty cool. So let's go on the driver's side. Look at the driver's side interior, and then we'll go ahead and look at the, uh, the hatch as well. The carpet under the mats. I got plenty of pictures. They're perfect. They're clean. They're not. Uh, no holes or, or anything anywhere. The steering wheel's in great condition. Like I said, you got um, $23,500 worth of receipts of restoration in 2009. I have pictures of them under the door. There's no rust under the doors. They, these were typical that you would get rust here in this hatch. You'd get rust here. Everything, I don't see any Bondo work. Everything is just crystal clear and clean and straight. I believe the car was at a Tennessee brand new. Um, here's a rundown of everything that was done in 2009. I'm going to skip straight to the back page and show you the totals. Uh, actually, it's $23,067. A lot of the stuff that he bought was brand new parts, replacement parts for this car. Um, paint job, $10,500. And this guy was uh, extremely picky in getting this car to look like a brand new Z car again. Again, you can match up every receipt in here. Then I've got a couple 280ZX hats. There's the additional radio, shop manual, owner's manual, some um, uh, uh, original sales brochure, some ads from magazines. And, and the miles are right. You can look through these the documents and see all the miles kind of add up. Oh, back here, this is, this is wrinkled up. This corner here, it's not a big deal. I'm not, you know, this one's, this part's fine, but that's got a little bit of wrinkle, and then right back here. That's about the only thing you can really pick on the car that I can see. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This quite possibly could be the nicest 280ZX Turbo in North America right now. And that's a bold statement, but if you guys could see this car in person, I mean, it is just amazing. I mean, the paint, the body, the interior, the ride, the drive, all the dash, it's got the digital dash. It, it works perfectly. I mean, I, I mean, these cars are hard to find. I mean, could there be a nicer one, maybe? But this is definitely cream of the crop, I think. I'm excited to see what it does. You guys bid all you can. Look out for a, a driving video, as well as a cold start video soon to come. And uh, like I said, it's a car that you can buy. You don't have to spend any money reconditioning anything. It's all been done for you. So bid all you can, answer any questions. I'll, I'll stay involved and uh, get the questions answered as soon as possible. Good luck, guys.